So have you ever heard of Warby Parker glasses? Eyeglasses and Warby Parker have been growing in popularity for several years, so I finally got myself a pair and have been trying them out for the last few months. But are Warby Parker glasses any good? Well, let's break down the features, the price, the lens and frame quality, and everything that you get in this Warby Parker review. Let's take a look. Hey, what's up? Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you take care of your eyes and see your very best. And I'm excited today to be looking at Warby Parker glasses and doing a quick review. And just FYI, this video is not sponsored. Now I've had my hands on these glasses for several months now, and you maybe even have seen me wear them in previous videos. And to be honest, I've been pretty pleasantly surprised. They've been holding up well, I'm seeing well out of them, and I've even received several compliments on them. I ultimately did get one of their at-home try-on boxes, so I will be kind of showcasing a few different frames that I got to try. If there's anything particularly that you like and just wanna know additional information about the frame name or anything like that, I'll put additional information about each frame in the description below so you can check that out. But let's break down the price, the pros, the cons, and everything that you need to know. So the retail price of Warby Parker glasses usually comes in the range of 100 to maybe 150 US dollars, largely depending on what frame and what lenses that you choose. Now again, I got the at-home try-on box, which meant that I could go on their website, select up to five different frames, and they were able to ship them out to me to try on, which is really important for online glasses because Otherwise, it can be really challenging to find a good pair that are gonna be comfortable, that are gonna fit your face shape as well as your style without trying them on first. There were a couple that I tried on that were just too big for me, such as the Ames frame here. It's a classic design and I like the matte black, but they're just too big for me. Or perhaps the Fletcher here, which I do really like, especially with the different accent flares of premium acetate between the white, the brown, the gray. But as I put them on here, you can tell again, they're just a bit too big. In fact, these are more for somebody who has a larger nose. That way my eyes would be held up in the optical center of the frame, but instead these hang just too low for me and my eyes are kind of toward the top of the lenses and that just wouldn't be right. But overall, one of the biggest compliments I can give Warby Parker after scoping out their website and the different frames I've tried on here, their designs are impressive. They come off as kind of a professional, sophisticated sort of look, but they also give off a very casual and somewhat playful vibe at times. Now, a big thing I should mention is that with the at-home try-on box, all of the lenses they do not have your prescription in them. They are just Plano stock lenses or maybe sunglasses lenses. But the whole point again is so that you can try them on, find out what works for you, your style, your comfort, all of that. Ultimately, what I ended up purchasing for my prescription pair are the Gillian here. And most men's frames are usually a brown or a black color. And I really liked the blue accent in this. And yes, while they maybe fit just slightly too large for me, that is the style right now. And I feel that they do match both my eye color and a lot of my wardrobe. I will say that I am fairly impressed by the build quality of their frames, especially compared to other online glasses brands that I've tried. Many of the ones I have here are made of acetate plastic and seem to hold up. The hinges are pretty well put together and I would probably give their build quality somewhere around the seven out of 10 range. They do have the Warby Parker branding stamped on the inside along with where they were manufactured. But you know when you are only paying about 100 US dollars for glasses frames, you are missing out on some features that you get with more expensive ones. Things like titanium and memory metals, things that make them harder to break, as well as handset jewels and other cool things like that. Now as far as the lens quality and accuracy goes, and this is a big deal to me being an eye care professional, I have been pretty pleased with Warby Parker's lenses. I found out that they do have their own lens manufacturing facility now here in the United States. And I was able to verify in the clinic that the lenses I received were accurate to my prescription. Now, one thing that is really important to look for when investing in eyeglasses is the quality of the lenses and any special coatings or treatments that can be applied to those lenses. Prescription glasses from Warby Parker, they only come in two different lens material options. And if you haven't seen our video on different lens materials, there are a lot more than just two out there. But at the very least, they offer a standard polycarbonate lens, as well as a high index 1.67 lens for those people with higher prescriptions over four diopters. 
Now, if you order a pair of Warby Parker glasses, all of their lenses do come with a standard anti-reflective coating. And if you don't know what an anti-reflective coating is, that is kind of that green or blue rainbow-like reflection off the surface of the lenses. And that's supposed to help you reduce that glare that you get from the lens, as well as improve your comfort and visual quality through those lenses. And in general, if you do end up getting a pair of glasses with a lesser quality anti-reflective, that usually means you are buying a lower quality lens as well. I do find that the anti-reflective on these lenses are pretty decent. They also include an anti-scratch and a 100% UV light blocker built into it as well. I can't say that it's the best anti-reflective or no glare coating that I've ever seen, but I would probably place it again in the middle of the road, somewhere about that six to seven out of 10 range. But if you are interested in something more, they do also offer a blue light blocking technology, as well as a light responsive lens, which is a photo gray lens that changes from clear to dark when you're in the sunlight. Those things all offer additional filtering capabilities, but come at an additional cost. Now in just a second, I wanna share a helpful tip about ordering Warby Parker glasses that most people don't know about, along with some of my final thoughts. But first I wanna pass this question off to you. What is the number one thing that you look for when buying new eyeglasses? Is it purely price, is it brand name, or is it something like durability? Let me know in the comment section below. Now if you've seen any of my previous videos about eyeglasses, you know that I'm a firm believer in having your glasses professionally adjusted because it's unlikely that your glasses are gonna just come straight out of the box fitting 100% perfectly. And to have Warby Parker glasses adjusted, you can of course take them into a Warby Parker brick and mortar store if you happen to live by one. Otherwise, at the timing of this video, they do offer a $50 rebate if you are to take them into a local optical shop and have them adjusted there. Many local stores will adjust them for free, but if they do happen to charge you for that service, again, Warby Parker will reimburse you up to $50, which is pretty crazy and very cool. So when it comes to where Warby Parker stacks up against other eyeglasses brands, I can't say they are the best lenses or the best frames I've ever had, especially when compared to other glasses I've gotten from the eye clinic, but definitely compared to other online glasses brands, I don't think you can go wrong here. I think that they are well designed and they should be sufficient for anybody with at least an average glasses strength or prescription. I think the most impressive thing about Warby Parker is how competitive their price is, especially for the quality of the frames and the selection of styles that they offer. You know, one of my favorite pairs of eyeglasses that I own are my designer Tom Ford frames with Transitions Signature 8 iZen lenses, along with Crizal Sapphire 360 Anti-Reflective. But those glasses come in well over 600 US dollars. Now, one of the reasons why I love them is because they do help me with eye strain while on my phone, my light sensitivity, but they also block more glare from extreme angles. However, depending on your budget and eye care needs, you maybe don't need something quite that fancy. And if you're looking for something that provides decent quality and without breaking the bank, I don't see why Warby Parker isn't a good option. But definitely let me know if you've tried Warby Parker yourself and had a good experience or maybe a bad experience, let us know in the comment section. That way we can all learn from each other. If you do have more questions about eyeglasses lenses, finding frames that match your face shape and all of that, definitely check out other videos in our series right over here. Otherwise, again, this is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show. Keep an eye on it, and we'll talk to you soon.